Hi howdy chaps. I decided before we prime the boot with before paint, I'm gonna fix those dints that are in the top of the boot lid. There's a little one there. There's a dog there. There's a big one there. And there's another little one there under the dog's snout. And then I found on the rear wing, there's a few little marks and stuff in there. So I'm gonna fill those as well. A little bit there. Because we want it to look good. We don't want it to look crap. So I'll get them done and then we can get into priming on the weekend. Let's go. filling is done and I've used twice as much filler as I needed but what's a little bit more sanding eh so there's that little bit there that there and that we'll wait for that to harden we'll worry about that tomorrow and we'll see if we can get time to tomorrow afternoon to sand it after work or something. No hurry, plenty of time. All right, we'll get back to it when we've sanded it. Ciao. Hello all. I've sanded back the filler. I'll give you a quick look. Mind my hand. So you start with that one. Nice and smooth. And we go along to that one. Looks good. And then we go to the biggest one that we had here. Yep. We still have that there, but that's where the hole is, so we won't worry about topping that up. So again, apologies for the hand, but we will hit it with some primer now to cover the bare metal. And I guess after that, we'll flip it over and get to the spraying of some Primer, I think. Well, I'll hit it first. I'll hit it with the cover here, like with a quick coat of rattle can primer, and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so the pri quick coat of those primers on, so that looks pretty good now. So we'll wait for that to dry, and then we'll hit it back with 400, and we're good to go with the spray gun. So I'll see you all when I did that but I spared you all the sanding off the filler back because in the previous two videos, that's all I've been doing is sanding. You don't want to see any more sanding, so you'll thank me later, hey? But uh, yep, next job, spray gun. Let's, let's get into it. Hello everyone. Today I was planning to put this boot lid in primer and the rear wing. But that's all gone out the window because today I have to go to my nephew's second birthday party, which was meant to be next week, but it's been cancelled because as in Victoria here, we're going back into tougher restrictions. So you can't have people at people's houses anymore. So yeah, that's just ruined my day for painting. But while I'm out here, I'm going to rub that back ready for the priming whenever I get to that probably next weekend and you also notice that throughout this video I'm wearing lots of different clothes because that's how slow I really do work I only do little bits a day and I only get time to work on things generally when my wife's at work because we're doing other stuff so I see that as my car time but today has cancelled because we're going to go out but I'll quickly rub that back and it'll be ready for the priming whenever I manage to get to it. Oh, and I hope you like my OMC, my old man cap, so I don't have to show you my balding head anymore. Let's get sanding again.
Alrighty, that's rubbed back and ready to be cleaned and ready for prime. I think I said in a previous video that I wasn't going to rub that back because the underneath of the boot, nobody's going to see it anyway. But I thought, why do something half ass when you can do it with a full ass? So that's why we rubbed it back. So it's got a nice smoothness to us now. I think that's uh, 600 sandpaper. So it's. 10 past 12 now, I've got to leave at 12.30, so I've got to go in and get changed for this birthday party. And hopefully the next time we're out here doing this, we've got the spray gun. Let's hope it's soon. Hello again, guys. Today, we're hitting the boot lid in the rear wing with some primer. So I've cleaned it down, wiped it down, get all the dust off. Now I'm about to mix up the paint. Let's get into it. All right, so I've only mixed up about 300 mil of paint. We'll see how far that gets us. That's upside down. So that's the underneath of the boot done. I don't claim to be the world's best painter. Like I just do thin coats. I don't want it coming out too thick or anything like that. So thin coats always comes out orange peely, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. As I said, I'm not the world's greatest painter, but when it comes to the time, I will lightly sand that back, get it smooth, ready for the top coat. And we'll do the same again light coats and it'll come out orange peely again but uh wet and dry 1500 on top of that clear coat after the clear coat buff it up comes up all right so i'll mix up some more paint and get ready to do the top side of the boot lid 
and when I when I disappeared, I was just put whatever's left in the gun onto the under there for the rear wing. So we'll do the top side of that as well after we've done the top side of the boot lid. Now I find that uh, like that flashes off pretty quickly, so yeah, it's touch dry already. So we'll give it a. By the time I mix the rest of the next lot of paint up, that'll be dry to flip, ready to flip over. So we can over the top of that. So I'm going to mix them up and get going again. Okay, time for round two. Let's go. <laughs> primed we'll let that dry that's all we'll do for the moment we'll end this video here okay we're back again let's have a look so as I mentioned before I'm not the greatest painter ever invented still all a new learning curve to me as I said I paint shitloads of orange peel but hey that can all be sanded out, can't it? So let's have a look. So here's the boot lid. This one, you can hear how rough it is. But that's actually a lot better than what I've done previously. So maybe I'm getting better with the more that I do. Can't get any worse, hey? So yeah, the repairs that I did on the holes for the spoiler, like the dents that were in it. Like you can't see any of that, so that's come up really nice. I've got to re-drill the holes for the holes to 
put the rear wing back on. Here's the rear wing. That's come up nicely as well. So nice and primed. So yeah, uh, pretty good, eh? Not bad for a hack like me. So the equipment that I use is the spray gun's just a uh, cheap. I think it was fifty bucks off eBay. You know does the job that I need. I'm not a professional painter, so I don't need a thousand dollar gun. Uh, the compressor is, I don't know. It seems to do the job that I want it to do. Uh, my father-in-law bought that for me. Oh, it'll be going back 10 years ago, something like that, so. I don't know how much horsepower it is. Let's have a gander to see if we can see, eh? Uh, it's a Black Ridge 112, whatever that is. Uh, yep, that's about all I can tell you. Um, my air feeding's leak. I don't know if you can hear that hissing, but heh, who cares? So yep, now I've got a something here, I've got a little bit of shrinkage or something on there, but when that dries, we'll sand that out, that'll be good. So yep, we'll end this video here, and the next time, hopefully we'll be doing some colour, hey? Alright, see you when that time comes. Ciao.